so hello stamp collectors and this is Glenn back with some stamps from uh, King George V so these stamps were actually first introduced in 1913 and they were used up until 1936 so I'd say they were probably used later uh, until they were actually re replaced with uh, King George the six stamps uh, but they would have actually been valid up until 1966 when uh, predecessor stamps were actually taken out of use so uh, all these most of these actually been stamped actually I think all of them have and as you can see I've got the 2d stamp 1d and down here I actually have a few one and a half pence stamps so you can see uh, it says three half pence so that means it's three times half penny so it's one and a half pence so in case you get confused with that being fruppence uh, which it actually is not here we have the two different colors so this is more like the earlier version of the actual oh, if we take it out don't worry it's on paper so it actually has oh o s h oh, i just realized i actually had this one so i'm not too sure who actually issued uh, os on her majesty's um service and i can't actually make that out so i'd actually have to take it off the actual paper to actually find out uh, but it might actually be a military stamp so I'm not too sure anyway so that's actually a different color so it's actually the red brownish color and here we actually have the actual red color. So the red brown is more like the earlier version back in 1913. And those ones actually are a little bit more expensive than the actual red version. So about $2, $3 I'd say. You'll be paying for one of those. And most of these stamps up here are the red version. So the later version issued in the late 20s, early 30s. And if you can see any dates on these, which I cannot. Uh, uh, here we actually might have a date on this one here. So, uh, it won't be an indication of when the stamp was produced, but when it was actually used. Uh, so this one is 1932. So, all of these do have watermarks. Uh, they are not hinged, which is actually good. A little bit damaged, I think. So, it, if you want to have a look at the actual watermark. Oops. We turn the stamp over. And... It looks like... You can see the watermark there. Looks like it has W's on it. So it's a little bit harder to see on these stamps because of the actual print. Uh, yeah, so different issues have different types of watermarks on them. And does this one have a watermark? No. So Hmm. Cannot actually see a watermark on the actual stamp. So it's actually getting a bit hard. So this is basically how you'd need to... Looks like it has A's on it. Uh, basically this is how you would actually use the dating system. You'd actually need to actually check which watermarks. But you need to actually find out what watermarks are what first. So this one has... Oops. I need a new pair of tweezers. These are actually not sufficient. 
So it actually has, there's a crown there. And it probably has A's. So there's some writing up there. So it's basically that type of watermark. So what would you actually be paying for these stamps? Well, it depends on the actual watermark. Uh, these ones are probably uh, probably the cheaper version, so I'd say probably about dollar forty one and two pence stamps each that are being used that are in actually good condition. Uh, so now forty one and a half pence stamps. Now you're probably looking at two to three dollars. So that's what these actually cost. Now let's take that away. So I actually have a quite a view. I usually sell these for about three dollars. Um, actually five for five, no, three for five dollars. And these one and a half pence. I actually will probably keep them. And down here we actually have OS and VG. So OS means on Her Majesty's service, so on service. So these are issued by the state and the federal government. Then we have VG, which just means Victorian government. So these ones are issued from 1913 to 1931. Then they, in 1931 to 33, they actually overprinted these. Then they'd done away with them. They said, oh, it's really not worth it. Just a waste of resources. And then VG, well, from 1933, the Victorian government, New South Wales government, all the state governments actually stamped their own stamps with uh, their own initials. And also other government departments that were federally run as well. So I'm not too sure on the value of these, or the VG one anyway. These ones are actually a bit expensive. Uh, for an unused one, you're paying about $15. For a used one, about 3 to $4. So... If you want stamps of value, you need the ones with the actual uh, either cut out with uh, pins or overprinted. So, and let's see if we can find any other dates. So, 1932. Uh, so, this is the 7th of April, 20 something, 24, might be. Is there any places that we can actually see? So this is in Victoria. Uh, can't really see. Nah. Postal. Uh, Melbourne might be. This one. Nah. Marambina? Oh, I don't know. Nah. It's actually very hard because most of the actual... Information is uh, probably on the envelope, which is pretty much long gone and probably no longer exists. So these are stamps from King George V. You can actually find them quite easily on the internet. Uh, these two pence ones are probably the easiest to actually get, as you can see, have quite a lot. And there are actually a lot of different varieties that you can actually find. So... That's an introduction to these stamps. I hope you find it informative and I hope it encourages you to collect these. Thank you very much and uh, I'll see you in the next video.